Hi folks, I'm I for Scotland. You're about to see me introduce myself again when we start this video, but I wanted to give you a bit of warning in advance that Inmost contains pretty heavy themes that may upset certain viewers. Uh, these themes include things like grief, bullying, domestic violence and suicide, so I thought I'd give you a heads up before we get into the video. Uh, otherwise, enjoy watching. Hello wonderful people, I'm I for Scotland and today we are going to be starting our playthrough of Inmost. Um, I've not heard, I don't know anything about this game kind of going in, but it has been recommended to me by a good uh, couple of members of the community. Uh, I'm already digging the kind of pixel art main menu, it looks lovely, and I know the um, the publisher Chucklefish have produced a couple of good, uh, good games. So we are going to jump in to inmost. I've been told this is like a really emotional adventure so I'm expecting to be traumatized going into this. I'm sure it'll be fine but yeah let's uh, let's see what we get up to. It is a nice Sunday in Scotland uh, however it is freezing at the moment uh, or at least it was freezing this morning it was like minus three. Um, which I know isn't super duper cold, but it was still fairly cold waking up. So, what we got here? We ball of light that grows plants. Okay, that tracks. I like it. This is already very pretty. It's quite a big tree. Fairly quickly as well. Oh. Okay. Into the highest room of the tallest tower. This is Shrek, isn't it? Oh, that's cool. Whoa! You just crushed it. What a bastard. Quite interesting to start with that there, just where the camera was positioned. Normally your character would be walking right. I'm just thinking of like how games like this normally start. You walk to the right. But that knight was walking to the left. I promise not to overanalyze everything, but that was quite interesting. Something new. We've got a ball. We can crawl under the desk right away. Interesting. We can also climb up to stuff and look out the... Oh, that's cool. Oh, okay. So we, we are small at the moment. Maybe we can pull this and turn on the light. Boom. We can open drawers. Oh. Huh. Okay, so we can like... What's happening here? Right, so we move this, we climb up these two, can we then... Need to put something on top of the table, sure. Why are we locked in a room? That's what I want to know. Oh shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, I'm getting trauma vibes here. Why are we crawling in the vents in our own house? And why are we locked in our room? It doesn't bode particularly well. Oh, 
Okay. Oh shit. Run! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, I just got an achievement. Finish the girls scene. Okay. That was, uh... Rough and now we're playing as a, a dude. And it looks like we need a scythe to get through this. Hmm. Oh. Oh. Okay, don't trust black goo. Okay. All oh, right, so this is a way we can get round the black goo. And we get a scythe. Can I use that as like a normal weapon or Oh, we can we can combat roll. Nice. I just got an achievement for finding a hidden pain crystal. So I'm trying. To, how did I use the scythe there? Maybe it's only when there's like a specific action button for it, I'm guessing. I don't know what a pain crystal is yet. Okay. Managed to destroy all that. Is that a person? I dropped my key down the well. Well, that's a bit shite. Daddy is going to punish me, oh no. Oh no. Okay, I'm gonna say that there is there is probably an abuse storyline here. Eh uh, so just a word of warning. Why did you do it? Why did you Oh shit, no, I didn't mean no! Why is this oh my god, I'm the worst! Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm off. I'll get your... I'll get your thing back. I'll get your... your key back. You'll be... Oh. I managed to combat roll into some goo. It told me to press B. What's happening here? Alright, I need to make sure I've got enough clearance to do it. Okay. Okay, so I need a key to get in there. And we can crawl through here. Guessing we need, yeah, we need a pickaxe for that, okay. That's fine. Hmm. <laughs> okay, this is just gonna be me dying repeatedly. So. So, if I do this, jump up, roll away, can I, like, squish it into the wall? Holy shit! Okay, yeah, take that. Take that, darkness. Huh. What's going on here? Wait, what? What the fuck? Oh, this is very cool. In a horrifying way, it's very cool. What is it with me and playing games that flashbang me? That is the whitest screen. Do you remember? The 21st night of September. Do you remember it? That tale about flowers? Okay. I thought it was a good story. 
I thought it's sure to have a happy ending. Oh no. Now we're playing an old man. A really old man. There's a cat by the window there. Let's hopefully we can go and speak to the cat. Wrong. It's a tale about pain. Let me tell you. Oh no. Again. These lands were dead. Destroyed. No, don't run away, cat! No! All you could hear was the whisper of the ashes. Then a stranger came. He held a spark in his hand. Okay. The stranger opened his hand, and the spark was. I will pay free. this cat. Light returned. Yet pain was the price for this light. The screaming okay. filled the air. Time passed. The screaming grew silent. Pain became a familiar friend. I'm, I'm sorry. This is going to traumatize all of you. No one knew whether they had crept away or been taken by pain. Yet many also remained. Hmm. Castles which once rose into the skies. Oh my goodness, is that the cat's kittens? Time wiped clean any trace. Centuries passed. The people started calling the stranger the keeper. Oh my goodness, spot. babies. He kept watch over the land, soaking up the pain of his Aww. people. That's very cute. At least we got to pet the cat. Okay, there's that's slightly less traumatizing. Don't know where my cats are at the moment. I th in fact, I can actually see Aoife but over there. She's the cuddled up in a little bundle. She was a bit cold this morning, but she's they been sitting on the radiator bed. Finish. Finish the old man scene. Okay. Notice in the top left it says 3 of 85. I'm not sure if that's the pain stuff like last time or whether it's, um... Hmm. Well, that worked. I, I wasn't meaning to do that, but yeah. That... Okay, maybe I can now turn it back up. Oh. I don't know what the deal with the light is. Yet. Oh god. Roll! Can we drop down? We can. And now we've got a giant crossbow. Or ballista, I suppose. Wait, what? Did that didn't... that didn't... that didn't work. Or did it? Holy shit, that didn't do anything. Or, yeah, that did nothing. Huh. Is there something we can... Need the pickaxe for that? Do we go back up here? Oh no. Oh, there's a cat! Hold on. Nothing bad is broken, you need a new handle. Thank you. I really, really need to get out. We will try our best. Oh, is that more arrows? Nice. I cannot read that? We need something. We need another. Okay, I, I will make sure you get out. Also, I bet you there's a cat flap that that cat's just conveniently ignoring. It's always the case. Oosh. Oh, for fuck's sake. Right. Pretty sure I hit roll there. Let's go again. There we go. 
can drag it at least. And now we can push it over here. I'm guessing that's full of arrows. Yeah, that's that makes sense. Let's go. Okay, that hit the box rather than sure. One more? Two more? Hopefully we can get that. Nice. Okay, pickaxe. Hell fucking yeah. So now we can go here, we can smash this wall. I love how deliberate all of this feels. Like, all of the... Like, I don't know, it's just it's very, like, in-depth pixel art. I'm not, I'm not sure if that's the correct way of saying it, but, like, sometimes pixel art's not as granular as what we're seeing. Like, all the little tiny actions, like, a lot of personality and stuff's been conveyed there, which is cool. There, that's my that's my game design commentary for for this episode at least. I knew that something was gonna kill me there, and I decided to test it anyway. I don't know why. Can I jump this? I can. Nice. Great. Well done. That doesn't work either. Don't know what that did. So how do I... Oh, is... I was gonna say, is that a good idea? Oh, that's very clever. I like that. So we can now smash this and that flattens that bit. We really are just destroying stuff. Vandalism the game. I mean, I suppose the only thing now is that we still can't get past that bit. Oh, wait, no, we can pick this up. We can pick this up and use it as a platform, maybe? cool. Nice. Now we have the key. We just need to make sure that we don't... Oh, fuck. So we can now destroy this bit. Which gives us 5 out of 85. So there's... Okay, we've got a couple of things to collect. Which is... Oh, God, go! Right, where is this... Shit, where's the girl? This is the door with the key, yeah? Which we've now got... I have no idea what that is. Is it the lever, maybe? Okay, we can... We know what we're doing. This is now an inmost speedrun. It's not a deathless, though. <laughs> that, that's, that's come and gone. Right, we'll climb up here. And we roll over this. We roll through here. We hop, we hop, we hop, we hop. And we pull the lever and we let the cat out. You opened the grate. I know, we did. I'm not sure I want out any... That is the most... Cat-like behaviour going. No! No! Oh, I just got an achievement saying save the cat from the hunter. Holy shit! 
Okay, did not me. Ah, oh, man. There's gonna be so many marks against my name after this fucking video. Jesus. I'm guessing that's a checkpoint. Oh no, don't like whatever that is. What's this? What? Oh fuck no, get back, get, get the fuck back. Oh, I'm getting like spirited away vibes for a second there. Run! Good lord, no! Oh my! Jesus! That's why I got this save the cat. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck! Defeat the first hunter. Okay, okay, I, I can at least take solace in the fact that we didn't... We didn't accidentally kill... We, we pushed that cat to save its life. That thing... If I'd been standing there, but you... We're the good guys! Oh, thank God! <laughs> I need to be alone. Yeah, that's fine. Look. Okay. Save the cat. I was so tra I was so traumatized with the thought that we'd push that cat to his death. We'd actually saved its life. Well, that's... That's good, at least. Nice. And now we've got the stairs there. Sweet. Can I hop on up? Oh. Oh. Oh! Oh! No! <laughs> ah! <laughs> they need to stop doing this for games. Spark. Oh. Terrible. We are now a knight of the realm. Uh, okay. I'm kind of getting escapism, cope with trauma kind of vibes. Okay, so we've got a dodge. We can now push this. Oh, nice. Wait, did they respawn? Or did they drop down? Okay. This is quite cool. I like that there's different sections for this stuff. Uh, okay, we can... Cool. Shit. One, two, three. Boom. Many served the keeper out of fear. We're a brave knight, though. We can take down all of this corruption or whatever it is. Oh no! Oh no! Oh, that poor mouse. Oh, what? No! Ah. Went into the lands and they gathered the pain. Gathered the pain. Into the 
Jesus! Oh wait, are we the bastard? What's happening? Is this a pain? A pain collector. Ah, so they, they do mean save spots. What did I get? What what did I get from that? Did I get a? Oh, that's cool. I can now. Hmm. I kind of feel like that chest thing there's got something to do with it. Also, that looks very similar to the room that we were in before. No, nope, there doesn't seem to be anything there. Okay, so we're back up. Oh. Ah, we're picking up the cog, right. Gotcha. That's cool. <laughs> I can now push that button. Oh, Danny. Uh, nice. That's cool. We'll then grab that, we'll then shove it in the spot here. Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. We need a knife. We need a lot of tools, don't we? Oh, is that another pain thing? Yes, yeah, 6 out of 85. Oh, fuck. No! Hmm. Maybe make it fall? Yeah, and then jump over it? Yep, yeah, that'll do it. Oh god, flying bats. I see the bats. Don't know what that's supposed to do. We've got a thing there. We've got a box that we can't do anything with. Oh, we could, like, jump inside the tree. Oh, that pain just disappeared. Quite a vertical game, this. Hello! Hey, you there. Get up! Okay, jeez. Let's, let's talk. Oh, oh, hello! I'm stuck. <laughs> I'm an explorer. I was exploring the tower when the bridge got stuck. The generator is out of fuel, so the bridge has stayed up. Good thing I have a bed and a pillow in this tree. I mean, yeah. And a teapot. Never leave home without a teapot, do you hear? Or without a telescope, of course. I've been following this rule since I was 11. I feel like the knife, pickaxe and... Scythe is slightly better. Oh yeah. I am stuck. <laughs> you need to start the generator to lower the bridge. Will you help me if I am not mistaken? The fuel is in the cave near the tree. This tree, as you can probably see, is a handy set of cranes. They'll help you hold the fuel up. Basically, all you need to do is... Find the can, pull it under the crane, drop the hook, attach the can, pull up the can, take it off the hook, drop another hook, pull the can over to the hook, attach the can, climb up, Raise the hook, take the can off the hook, pull it beneath the final hook, attach it to the hook, climb up, raise the hook, take the can off the hook, and pull the can over. Breathing heavily. And pour the fuel into the... Breathing very heavily. Into the generator. <laughs> Easy as pie, you see? Plain and simple. Okay, right. Take this, you're going to need it to open the cave. Ah, that was the thing from before. I just fell to my death. That's, yep, clever. Okay. What's here, I wonder? Need a key for that. Oh. Oh, we picked up a, another pain thing. 
We're the pain collector. We collect pain so you don't have to. Okay, so what I think we do is we actually maybe go back to the thing that was all the way back. Oh, is that another? Yeah, we're collecting all the pain. Maybe it's my pain that I'm collecting. I don't know if there's a run button, but the jumping seems to kind of do the trick. Because we could enter this way, couldn't we? Oh, was that a crowbar? Okay, that... Couldn't tell from the art. <laughs> Oh shit, that was just for that. Oh, okay. Inmost completionist run. 100%. First try. Okay, at least we know what we're doing on, on that side. Then we can backtrack and pick stuff up. At least. Okay, we'll go back to the bit and we'll try and enter the cave. I'm guessing that's not the cave. I can see it on the other side though. I don't know how I'm gonna get over that. Did I jump from here maybe? This seems like a mistake. Oh yeah, you're definitely you're definitely fucking dying if you do that. I'm trying to collect the There we go. Oh, it is my own pain, because that only appeared when I died. Oh shit, flying bat. Oh wait. Flying bat as opposed to one of those other bats, you know? Hmm. That does seem to be the place where I'm supposed to... Oh! Right, we can op we can open those with the thing, which means there's another one that I can open. Oh fuck! Good lord. Okay. Yep, that'll do. It. Oh fuck! Ah, human. Come, don't be afraid. That no. What's that sparkling? Those stones, you know what those are? Oh yes, it's pain! Sweet pain, let me see it! Every living thing feels pain, every blade of grass, every little bug. Finding it's hard though, few can do it. Give five pain, sure. Oh, the castle is expanding, it consumes these lands. It brings the pain with it. A huge creature lived here, she knew nothing of joy, nothing of grief. No emotions as a good time for her. She hunted and she fed her offspring hundreds of them. But her spark is growing dim. Her world will never be the same. Touched by the castle, her offspring are changing. The castle have brought, has brought fear. She's locked with them. She fears them. They are poisoning her. One day she will die and perhaps this will be a blessed day for all of us. Oh god, is- sorry, hold on, is pain being generated by me dying? No, it can't- no, because I'm like, I'm finding it as well, okay. I was like, I'm wondering if this game has like a thing where if you die too many times you- like, the ending changes or something like that? At least that's where my mind's going with it. That castle and that tower behind me, they haven't always been there. Once the spark shone brightly and the world was full of light and of life, there was a shadow too with small creatures living in it. Pain lived in them as it lived in everyone else, yet they were almost oblivious to it. They were happy. One day something changed. It wasn't their fault. Everything changes. They were no longer content with being small and weak. They decided that for them to become strong, someone else must become weak. They chose their victim. They nurtured their pain, collected it, mixed it with hatred. Then poured it all over their victim. And as the victim became weaker from the burden, they thought they were becoming stronger. It wasn't their fault. But the land around them changed as it changed around him. No one saw it happen. 
Soft earth turned to stone, green grass turned to black ash, and stone upon stone the walls started rising, and no one could bear to see it. Everybody turned away, nurturing their pain and hatred so they could pour out again. Oh, bring me more fresh pain. <laughs> yep, that piece there, yep. I would just like to not fall so casually to my death, just once. Right. Now the reason I'm going back here is because I know that there's a bit of pain in the other box. There's a, no, not up this way. There's, there's a box over there that we can open with a crowbar, so I'm going to go and grab that. Hoping I skip. I'm guessing that's the fastest way to move. I've not... Oh. There we go, we now have 15 pain. I do like the jump, it's quite good. Hop through here, hop up there, jump through here, completely miss what the platform I was going for. There we go. Jump and a jump and a jump and a jump and a ship. So I need to like find a way to bait this this boar. Oh, come on. Ooh. Did I just fucking... Oh, it did. It's gone. Jeez. Oh. Oh, that... It's unfair. Ah, uh, I keep up. So monsters can drop just directly. And they will do that over anything else. Okay, let's... We've got the crowbar. We can enter the cave. Let's go. Wow, can't believe we've only died once this game. Right, there's the... Oh, right, that's the cave. Jeez, oh. I was, I was expecting the caves to be like a whole section. No, that's fine. We've got the fuel. Okay. Do that. And I've got to watch out for this fucking bat. Go away. <laughs> okay, grab that. I like how it's light enough that we can just haul it right off the hook, but we have to drag it along the ground. Okay. There is some pain there as well, we want to collect that. Okay, grab that. And push. Get that there. Do a jump. Climb up the ladder. I've been sitting in this tree for days now. Don't even ask what was in that but Oh, God! <laughs> oh, there's the girl over there. Shit. See, whenever something falls like that, I'm, I'm gonna have to check. Is the, I'm not sure if it's like, I'm not sure if that's random filler or whether something legitimately fell there. I think it might be filler. We still need ah oh shit. We still need the knife. Bollocks, right? Go, go, go. Right. Let's get this generator done. Sorry for taking 75 years to get the generator fixed. Out of my way, explorer. Cool. And we pick that up and... 
Thanks for the help. You can pick it up there, okay. Oh god. <laughs> nice, great. That's just great. Oh. The other half is still raised. Can you do anything about- Son of a- Right, okay, I am thinking, because I've got to this save point, I've got the first generator done. Uh, I will end part one there, uh, folks. Uh, <laughs> thanks very much for joining me for that. Um, I'm so glad we didn't do anything that would have hurt that cat. That would- I would have- it would have been hard to justify continuing if the cat had died. Um, but obviously this game's going to be quite hard hitting, so I'm expecting a whole bunch of other trauma, which I hope you join me for. Uh, I'll catch you in part two, but be sure to like and subscribe and comment what your favourite death was in that run. I will see you in a bit, folks. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.